everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video I have a buy it or pass it for you guys um, I felt like I haven't done this video in a while so I'm really excited to bring this to you let's talk about some new releases and what I kind of have my eyes on and what I am not going to be buying now this series was originally created by Samantha March I will have her listed down below she also has a playlist so if this is something that you enjoy make sure you check that out so before we get started if you guys are not subscribed please go ahead and hit that button down below um, you can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, and I will have those all linked down below for you guys as well. So the first thing I'm going to be talking about is from the new Lady Gaga line. It's called House Laboratories. Um, she is coming out with a couple different items. Uh, there are lip liners, lip glosses, and then something called Glam Attacks, which is a liquid shimmer powder that you can layer on the top of your other products to transform their finish or wear alone, just shake well first. Um, I'm actually really, really excited to try this out. Everything on here looks really, really fun and creative. I like the packaging on this. Um, I love Lady Gaga. I think she is absolutely amazing. Definitely someone I would love to support. These are actually gonna be available for pre-order on July 15th. And according to Trend Mood, there's nine different duos. So you can do two lip liners for $26, two glosses, $32, and two glam attacks for $36. So hopefully that's not each. It doesn't say each. And then it says uh, also six different three-piece sets for $49, so which includes a lip liner, a glass, and a glam attack. So you can get one of each product for $49. I would actually like to see this in person before I made the purchase. I want it, yes, but I really just want to see it. So I might wait for a couple reviews before I dive in and, and grab anything. Now it also says that this brand is going to be cruelty free and vegan. So that is a huge plus in my book. But like I said, I'm interested. I want a lip gloss, I want a glam attack, but I think I'm gonna wait on the reviews and see what they have to say. And if the reviews are good, then I probably am going to purchase. All right, so Morphe is releasing a, another palette. It is the 35H Hotspot Artistry Palette. This is 35 shades, matte and shimmery for $25. It's gonna be available July 16th. Um, now, I don't know about you, but I am kind of over Morphe. All their palettes just kind of seem the same to me now. Um, now. You know, now that I have the James Charles palette, I have the Jaclyn Hill palette, I have the 35O, the 35, um, F. I just, I have a bunch of Morphe palettes. Uh, the little uh, sets that they did, the bronze mocha palettes, I have those. Um, so anything that they come out with, I feel like I don't even need because everything that they are coming out with, I feel like I already have in my collection. So nothing is drawing me in. There is nothing like, oh my gosh, I need this. Um, I just kind of see it. I'm like, oh, another Morphe palette. No big deal. So that's just my personal opinion. You guys might be excited about it, which is great, but I'm kind of burned out on Morphe palettes. They all just seem the same to me. So I'm definitely going to be passing on this. All right, now I'm actually really excited for this next item because I've been really into foundations lately. Um, I also am a huge fan of Dose of Colors. I have their liquid lipsticks. I have the Desi and Katie Francation palette. That's one of my favorite palettes. And I just think it's a really great brand. So they are coming out with a new foundation. This seems to be the thing this year is coming out with foundations, which I think is fantastic because I'm super excited for this one. It says there are going to be 42 shades, six shade categories, seven shades per category. So you're gonna have fair, light, light to medium, medium tan, and dark. They're going to be $36 each, and it's gonna be, of course, one fluid ounce. They're supposed to be medium to full coverage, a natural matte finish, high pigment, lightweight, long wear. It's gonna be vegan and cruelty free, talc free, paraben free, fragrance free, and oil free. That sounds so awesome. Like, I am stoked for this. I really hope that I can find my shade because I would love to test this out for you guys. A natural matte finish. I love that. I love that they're claiming that it's lightweight, uh, medium to full coverage. I do like a billable uh, foundation so I can kind of control the build of it. I really appreciate that. Um, so this is going to be available July 17th at 8 a.m. Pacific Center Time online at doseofcolors.com. Now, I know Dose of Colors is also carried at Ulta, so I might wait to see if they bring it into Ulta. Um, I'm really, really just 
Ugh, I hate shopping online for foundations. I never get my shade right. I do have trouble finding foundations for me um, just because of the fact of my undertone. Not necessarily because there is um, not a light shade. It's the undertone that I have a problem with. So there could be like 20, 30 different light shades, but not a single one will work for me because I have a yellow undertone. Everything I usually try on is either way too pink and it looks absolutely ridiculous or it's way too yellow and then I just look like a Oompa Loompa. <laughs> so um, I like to shop in store so I can do swatches and kind of really test that out. I really don't like ordering a line. Like I said, they are sold at Ulta, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they bring these in the Ulta so I can swatch them and kind of find my match that way. Now, if they do that, I am going to be all over this. So I am crossing my fingers because I really want to test this out. Tarte has added some more of their Rainforest of the Sea collection. They added more foil finger, foil finger paint trios for $25 a piece. It includes two foil formulas and one gel glitter topper. Um, H2O glosses in new shades. It looks like there are a whole bunch of new shades and a water foundation uh, with SPF of 15 now in 30 shades for $39. I'm actually not even interested in this. I really don't like the fact that these are little trios. Um, I don't feel like I could do anything with that. They would just sit in my drawer. If I let, if I get a palette, it has to have at least like, I don't know, six to 10 shades uh, for me to be interested. Now maybe had they put all these uh, shades together to make one palette, um, I might have been interested, but them separately as trios, I'm just, I don't, I, I don't like that. Um, all these lip glosses, they are really, really pretty, but I actually don't like that line of lip gloss. They feel too sticky to me, so I'm gonna be passing on that. And I have tried their Rainforest of the Sea foundation before. It was actually one of my very first liquid foundations. Um, and since then, I've moved on to bigger, better foundations. Um, I don't think that that one works for me anymore, especially with my skin type. I tried it a couple times and it just looked uh, I don't know. I did not like the finish on my skin. It looked really cakey and it just, it did not work for me. Um, uh, now I'm more of Maybelline. I love Maybelline. It's like my number one foundation. Uh, NARS. Um, I actually today I have on my Estee Lauder double, double wear foundation. So those are the foundations that I enjoy. Um, the Rainforest of the Sea foundation, I did not. So going to be passing on that. Okay, so KKW is coming out with a new summer collection. I guess it's called the Fire Collection, which is a kind of cool theme. So you have the eyeshadow palette for $45. It includes 10 shades. Eyeliners for $10 a piece. You have glosses, $18 a piece. Uh, you can do a gloss trio for $42. Eyeliner trio for $25 or the Fire Bundle for $115. This is going to be available on July 19th at 12 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time online at kkbeauty.com. I actually have the KKW and Mario palette and I love that palette. That formula is perfect. The way they blend, the way they look, I love everything about that palette. It's just absolute perfection. Um, now I haven't been interested in anything else that she's came out with uh, this far. The palettes that she came out with was kind of lackluster, very, very neutral. I mean, that represents Kim. That is who she is. She's just neutral colors, and that is great. But um, I just didn't, nothing has called my name since then. This palette kind of does. <laughs> It definitely has those fire colors when you think about it. It's got the orange and the red and the burgundy. And these are just really, really pretty colors. I think this is going to be a really pretty palette. I'm on the fence. I kind of want it and I kind of don't. But as far as the eyeshadow palette goes, I think I'm going to wait. Um, I do think it's really, really pretty. It's definitely colors that I would use. I just, ugh. I'm having a really hard time buying palettes right now. I think I'm a little bit burnt out on eyeshadow palettes. Um, the last one, of course, I bought was a Jawbreaker palette. It was definitely something different, something I don't have in my collection, so that excited me. Um, but when I look at this, like I said, it's beautiful. I just don't, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put this one on like my maybe list because it's like, I kinda want it, 
but I kind of don't. Does that make sense? Well, it makes sense to me. Um, the lip glosses, I'm going to pass over. I just feel like I have some really good formula of lip glosses that I enjoy. Um, eyeliners, I'm more of a liquid eyeliner type of person, so I definitely would be passing over those. Now, Real Techniques is coming out with a new sponge. It is their Miracle Powder Sponge. It's pink. This is going to be available at Target. Um, it says you can use it wet or dry. I'm interested in trying it. I have Real Techniques um, sponges. I think they're okay. I have the Beauty Blenders. I think they're okay. My Actually, my favorite blender is the, um, the Flower Beauty Purple Sponge. Oh, that is my favorite beauty blender, like, ever. <laughs> So I will then give this uh, a test and see how that this holds up. Um, is it like the orange one? Is it a little bit better? A little bit more improved? Because I think the the real tech the real technique orange sponge to me just kind of falls apart pretty quickly um, versus all the other ones that I have. They last a lot longer, in my personal opinion. But I would like to give this a try. So I think I'm going to buy it. It's not really a, a major purchase, so I definitely will test that out in the future. So it looks like Too Faced is coming out with a new eyeshadow palette. Um, it's called the Palm Spring Dreams. Uh, this is supposed to be available soon at Sephora. It doesn't really give me a date. It doesn't give me a price. It's in the same compact as their, um, their peach palette and their white peach palette. Um, I kind of enjoyed the, the first peach palette. I did not enjoy that, that, um, that white peach palette or whatever it was called. Uh, this one just kind of looks like a mix of those two palettes together to me in my opinion um you have a couple of similar sh similar shades the shimmers and that like shimmery bluish purple um the packaging is okay this doesn't really call to me um i don't like the colors in the in here i don't really like the packaging um i didn't if this is going to be the same formula as that white peach palette, then I'm definitely going to pass because I did not enjoy that. Uh, they haven't come out with a palette that I have enjoyed, um, I believe, since Chocolate Gold. Chocolate Gold is the bomb if you guys have not tried it. I love that palette wholeheartedly. Um, so I'm definitely going to be passing on this one. It just does not do anything for me. It does not make me happy when I look at it. It just kind of is bleh. I can just scroll right over this and not even think twice about it. So definitely a pass. Okay, so this next item, there's actually a couple different items coming out from this brand. Charlotte Tilbury is coming out with uh, new foundations, kind of just like Dose of Colors and Urban Decay. Uh, they are coming out with 44 shades. Um, it's supposed to be long wear, weightless, full coverage, poreless, natural looking matte finish. So this is a Magic Reflection Serum for younger looking skin. Air Cool Fresh Cool Skin, uh, Charlotte Tilbury Defense Pollution Defense, Miss Celtic Hydration, The Secret to a Flawless Poreless Looking Complexion Full Coverage Weightless in 44 Shades. Ooh, that is a lot of claims. Um, now, would I be interested in trying this? Yes. But, but, um, I'm not going to just because I know that Charlotte Tilbury is a very high-end, very prestige brand. Um, I don't think I could bring myself to pay for the price of it. Because I, I bet you it's going to be anywhere from like 50 to 60 bucks. That, that That's my guess. And that's just too rich for my blood, especially if I'm going to really like it and having to buy the foundation. I mean, I don't go through foundations that much because I do have quite a few that I bounce back in between. Um, but uh, that's just so much. <laughs> it's so much money. I, I have to see other people's reviews to see if it's like magical. Um, because if it ain't magical, then I'm definitely not even going to think twice about it. But as of right now, it is a pass. Looking at the swatches right here of all the different shades, I do see a couple different shades that would actually, that might actually work for me if it's magic. <laughs> if it ends up being magical. Um, now they're also coming out with color correctors. So you have fair, medium, tan, and deep for the color correctors, which I think is really nice, but those are gonna be really expensive. Um, I don't really do a whole bunch of color correcting, so I'm not really interested in that category anyway. 
and I cannot believe I'm going to be saying this, um, but Trend Mood posted a sneak peek of holiday makeup from Charlotte Tilbury. Like, what? Is it just me? Or is it summertime? Is it still July? It's still July, right? Like, hot months, it's like 100 degrees outside, and she posted sneak peeks of these holiday uh, items. I'm like, what? Let's slow it down just a little bit. I'm I'm all for holidays. I'm all for the holiday makeup, new releases, um, Christmas time. I, I love that time of year when it's that time of year. <laughs> At least let us get to fall before you start shoving everything down our throats. But that's just my opinion. Um, but yeah, they're going to be releasing. Uh, there's going to be highlights, eyeshadow palettes, face palettes, and more. And she shows pictures of each one. And boy, oh boy, everything is really pretty. The eyeshadow palettes are pretty. The highlights are pretty. Um, but I don't want to know anymore until it's that time. So that's definitely something that I have to look forward to. But just not right now. But I just wanted to share it just because it was on Trend Mood's website. Right along with the foundations and color correctors. But that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big ol' thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.